as you can see I have the HAL 9000 mod 4.0 Android 9.0 on my Anon GA2170 PX5 head unit. I did this without using the Mod Installer Pro APK which you can purchase directly from HAL 9K which I would recommend you do but this is how you do it without it. So let's get started. First thing, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need a head unit, of course. We're gonna need a micro SD card or two micro SD cards if you'd rather use a micro SD card for the update.zip that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use a USB drive. And then we're gonna need some way to plug the micro SD and the USB into a computer. I got a adapter for a micro SD to USB A. You might need one for a Type C. I'm not sure. It depends on what you have. First thing we're gonna do is go to our computer. We're gonna insert the micro SD into the adapter, plug it in. Then we're gonna go to the folder that I have provided. That is the upgrade to 9.0 folder. Then we're going to go into the upgraded 9.0 folder and select the SD firmware tool folder and run SD firmware tool. Now make sure the drive that your micro SD card is the one selected at the top. All the settings should be what they need to be. So click on firmware and select boot card dot image from the root folder of the upgrade to 9.0 zip. Now after that finish, we're gonna take the SD update image and copy it from the upgrade to 9.0 folder to the micro SD card. You can now eject the micro SD card. Secondly, we're gonna plug in a USB and or you can use the micro SD card, whichever one you want to do. I'm using the USB because it's a little faster, so do whatever you need, do whichever one you have. So copy the update.zip from the root folder of how 9 k mod version 4.0 to the USB or the micro SD card, whichever you chose. Now when that's finished, we can eject the USB and we can move to our head unit. Now that we're at our head unit, we're going to put the micro SD card into the GPS card slot. So make sure that's when you put it in. On the GA2170, it's the one furthest to the right. And on yours, it may be different. Hopefully you have one. Otherwise, this method won't work for you. Okay, so now we're going to restart the head unit. I ended up pushing the reset button. You can also turn it off a different way if you have mod installer installed or something like easy boot. If you already have root, that is, you can get it to reboot. Now when it reboots, it should automatically go into this loading where it says upgrade card.
Now when this finishes, we're gonna remove the micro SD from the GPS, wait until it powers down, then we're gonna plug the USB into the USB port on the PX5. It should now reboot into recovery, which is version 9.0.6. We're gonna scroll down to upgrade from storage. Now on mine, you hold the volume button for it to select it. Now that we're in update from storage, we're gonna select the USB option, or you're gonna select the micro SD option if you decided to use a micro SD. Which you would put into the micro SD card slot that isn't the GPS card slot. After we select this, it should start updating. And this can take a little bit of time. Usually doesn't take a super long amount of time, but it can take like 10 to 20 minutes. So just wait and be patient. Now when this finishes, all we have to do is reboot the head unit and it should boot it into how 9 k Mod version 4.0 Android Pi. Thank you.